My next guest makes her professional mixed martial arts debut this Friday at Invicta FC 29. She's going to be taking on a late replacement in Sarah Kletchka. It is Lisa Spangler joining me here on the program for the very first time. Lisa, how are you? I'm good. Thank you. Awesome. Uh, where am I catching you today? Did you have a practice today or did you get a rest day? What, what happens normally for you on a Sunday? Oh, I just came um, from boxing, so like half an hour ago. <laughs> good stuff. Well, I appreciate you taking the time. And this is the first time I've had you on the show, so i got to ask the natural question. How would you get involved in combat sports? Well, I played um, football for 10 years. Um, I started when I was about eight, um, all the way through high school. And then I wrestled in high school, took fourth at state. So it's just kind of a natural progression. Interesting. And just, just to clarify, when you say football, you mean American football, not soccer, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I f figured as much. I just have to ask in case, uh, you know, for some reason there was, there was another uh, thing there. So how was, wh what sort of drew you into combat sports? Like what was sort of, uh, like what sort of brought you into that world? Um, well, I was at a karate school for a little bit, but I wasn't really into like forms or anything. So I kind of moved on to an MMA gym when I was 14 and four years later I started fighting. So interesting. Were, were you a fan of the sport before you got into it or did that sort of come later? No, that sort of came later. Um, I don't really watch sports very often. I, I think they're kind of boring, but um, yeah. No, fair enough. I mean, I, I watch it now, but... <laughs> right, right. Yeah, no, I, I understand. Um, yeah, because you got to keep up with everything, obviously. Um, now, uh, when you and I are trying to set up this interview, I know you have a, a full-time job. Uh, what is it you do for work uh, outside of fighting? I work at PetSmart. Oh, nice. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Just stalking in the morning. Okay, but you probably get to see a lot of animals, though, anyways, which is kind of neat, right? Uh, sometimes. I work before the store opens, so... How is that job, uh, you know, balancing that with training and, and everything else? Well, I usually do that in the morning and then, like, work out and train afterwards because I work from, like, 4 to 9. Oh, okay, a. gotcha. Yeah. Oh, 4, 4 a.m. to 9. Okay, that's great. So what time yeah. do you have to get up for work, then? Like three. <laughs> really? Oh, wow. Okay. So I guess you're just, have you just been used to it for, for so long? Like how long have you been doing that? Two years. So yeah, I've gotten a little bit used to it. <laughs> Do you get to sleep in on the weekends at all? I work five days a week. Um, I don't have like set days off. So it's sometimes I'll get two days in a row. Sometimes it'll be split. Um, so yeah, sometimes I have the weekends off. So let's talk about your opponent here. Uh, a bit of a switch up, just uh, you know, a bit of a uh, like a week out. Uh, you find out you're going to be fighting a Sarah Kletchka. Uh, do you have to alter your strategy at all for this fight with the opponent, or is it just the fact that you're so young in your career, you mainly just focus on what you're you're good at in this matchup? Um, I'm not really changing my game plan too much. I'm just gonna do what I'm gonna do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just bring bring whatever you can to the table. Now, as far as training camp and everything like that, um, where are you training right now, and who are some of the people that are helping you get ready for this fight? I train at Gracie Baja Portland um, with my coaches Fabiano Scherner, um, Craig Carpenter, Josh Bennett, um, and I've been sparring with Liz Tracy recently. Um, but there's a lot of good people over there. That's good. Liz, Liz is on this card, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, so that must be nice that you have someone else uh, also, uh, you know, competing on the card with you. Makes things a little bit easier, doesn't it? Yeah. It'll be nice to have a friendly face there. Yeah. No, that's great. Um, how's the uh, how's the weight cut going? We got this fight coming up here, like I mentioned off the top, uh, very soon. Um, imagine everything going according to plan. Yeah. Only have a couple pounds to go. Okay. That's good. Do you have to cut much weight for for your fight? Um, I walk around 145, so it's only 10 pounds, and I try to do it kind of incrementally throughout my camp. I usually only cut like 5 pounds by the end, so it's not too bad. That's good. Um, is there one thing like during training camp that you can't eat that you really miss, like uh, like something you're going to go to right after the fight, like a cheat meal or anything like that? I really like Nutella. I'll usually like eat that right after a fight or like cookies or something like that. Okay. So do you bring that with you uh, like to have right after the fight or you just have it when you get home? Um, I've done both. <laughs> I've had it right after. Sometimes I'll just wait till I get home. But yeah. <laughs> Excellent. And uh, how, do you, uh, how do you see this fight playing out uh, on May 4th? I don't really know that much about her since I just found out I'm fighting her. But um, 
not to give too much away, but it'll probably stay. I want to keep it on the feet for the most part. Um, yeah, that's all I have for that. Okay, no, fair enough. You don't want to give away game plan. I totally get it. That makes sense. Um, I, I know you're not looking past your opponent, but I'm sure you're kind of mapping out the rest of the year. Are you looking for a quick turnaround after this fight, or do you want to take some more time off, or what's sort of the plan after this fight, if, if all goes well, of course? Um, I don't really have a plan, actually. I kind of take it one fight at a time. So. And uh, what about uh, downtime? I, I know obviously you work and you train and everything like that. You probably don't have much, uh, you know, free time at all. But are you watching any Netflix? You're playing any video games, anything like that to kind of take your mind off of training and, and everything else? I play Dungeons and Dragons on the weekends. Nice. In like a <laughs> league or just like on your own? No, with my friends. It's a tabletop game. So it isn't on a computer or anything. Oh, nice. Okay. So it's not. Okay. So it's uh, the actual board game then. That's cool. Um, what's, uh, what do your friends think about, uh, you fighting? Cause that's obviously a very different world than, uh, you know, people who are playing Dungeons and Dungeons and Dragons usually. Well, they've known me since middle school. So, um, they've been around me doing sports my whole life. So they're pretty used to it. It's kind of normal for them. And obviously you got to travel to, uh, to, to get to Invicta. I mean, uh, you know, the, you're from uh, Washington State. Uh, what, what do you like doing on the airplane? What would I find you doing? Are you going to be watching a movie? Or are you going to be listening to a podcast? What would I find you doing? Uh, probably reading a book or listening to music or asleep. Is there any uh, good books that you're reading right now? Um, I haven't really had time to read books, but um, I've been reading a book called Bitten. Um, it's about werewolves. Oh yeah, nice. <laughs> That's cool. Awesome. I've yet well, to get through it, though. Everyone's got to check out this fight. It's Invicta FC 29 coming up here on May 4th. Lisa, it was uh, great getting a chance to talk to you. Just uh, remind people where they can find you on social media, and if you got any sponsors or shoutouts or anything like that, the floor is yours. All right. Well, on Facebook, I'm just Lisa Spangler. Um, in parentheses, it'll be the Strangler. Um, for Instagram, it's at SpanglerLisa22. Um, that's it for social media. Um, my sponsors, I got Instant Imprints in Vancouver. They do like screen printing and stuff like that and banners. Um, they're actually doing my banner for this fight. Um, Vivid Fightwear, Papa Joe's Barbecue and Company. It's a food truck in Vancouver. Portland Gee Company. Um, hard winter strength and conditioning, Hava's hand bake. She's based in um, Philadelphia. Uh, Northwest Combat Fitness, MV's Designs, which is um, my photographer, and uh, Jurassic Cart, which is a food cart in Portland on Foster. And uh, all my coaches at Gracie Baja Portland and my training partners.